I have your test results. You've tested positive for HIV. Do you understand this diagnosis? Over 17 years as a clinical program manager, I have told young people between the ages of 13 and 29 this life-changing message. I've actually told 289 young people. To be honest with you, we're sick of doing this. We need something to actively get our young people involved in the problems that basically we've given them. So we've come up with this new program called FLOW, Future Leaders of the World. What we do is we take a group of young people, we educate them in health topics such as HIV, STDs, sex trafficking, and after they've learned the health topics as basic knowledge, they then write raw stories, which we work with screenwriters to get them into short, powerful scripts. At that point, we then will produce them into professional short films to be used as educational icebreakers by educators all around the world. And why do we say that? Well, we're actually going to film them in multitude of languages. Hola mi gente, aquí estamos hoy en el salón de castigo. Parece que Josh ya las está cogiendo del fondo del barril. Yo sé que es imposible coger una ETS cuando es su primera vez. Literalmente no, ¿dónde consigues tu información? ¿De Facebook? Eh, no, no tengo 80 allí. Chelsea siempre está pasando mis información y está bien cuando es de chismes juveniles, pero cuando se trata de la salud pública es peligroso. Tell me about the character you play and how they will affect the audience. Hello, I play Tony, and she's a high school girl that's going through bullying and coming out with her father. Uh, I think it's going to really impact the audience because it's something that is a really sensitive topic. How do you relate to any of the characters in the short film? Uh, I relate to Tony the most. Um, when growing up, I used to be really shy, and I used to get bullied for it. So uh, I feel like Tony is almost like watching myself. So can you tell us, what do you do as a youth advisory board member? So I became involved through my work at Adolescent Care and Testing Services with Alex, and I'm also majoring in public health at the University of Miami, and I was very interested in a new approach in getting the conversation started on sexual health. What do you like most about the FLOW project, and what is your favorite part? My favorite part of the film project was being able to get to read the scripts prior to anybody else and being able to give my advice or my thoughts on what could be better. And also, I just like to get to know everyone and experience a new setting. At first it was quite intimidating, especially knowing the fact that it was basically just like high school, having my peers have that peer pressure and the, the judgment. But, but being able to really focus on the fact that I wanted to have um, my skills enhanced within script writing, that really did help me push aside the, um, the pressure and the heaviness of the judgment and really focus on the fact that they were here to help me. So Sherry was actually my writer. It was a bit hard at first trying to find the right times to meet um, since it's a different time zone, but we did end up meeting at least three times and each and every time I kept improving. I find it to be quite exciting. Now I get to be um, stepping into those shoes and be that person that's going to help the new writers coming in to learn these new skills that I didn't have at the time but I did gain after um, having these advice report around. So now I can bring that confidence to those writers and help them get to the position that I'm at. We're asking for your help. We need support. Please make a tax deductible contribution on our website of www.futureleadersoftheworld.org. We really do need your help. It's time that we come up with a different way to address these health disparities. Thank you very much.